This is me. Well, technically this was me. Whoa, 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 hold on. I'm far from dead. But there were many times on this journey, it sure felt like it. If I could go back in time and give myself a piece of advice, it would be just relax. Allow. It's all natural. But back then, I probably wouldn't have listened anyway. Growing up, I was a hypersensitive kid. I could feel what others were feeling and I was convinced we could all do magic. As time went by, I realized most people didn't feel what I felt and didn't believe in magic. They seemed to prefer a rational and logical life. I began to hide my feelings and started acting like them just to fit in. But in this nightclub bathroom at age 20, this act became unbearable. I later realized this was the beginning of my spiritual journey. Okay, I might have overdone this part a little bit. I was just so happy to finally play a different role. But in the end, it was the same role. I just replaced the old act for a spiritual one. I realized I was still looking for happiness on the outside, but I was terrified to truly look within. So, I did what every spiritual seeker does at this point. I procrastinated. Instead of looking within, I kept playing out my roles. I tilted at windmills. I played the drama queen. I was a total diva. And I even played the seductive temptress. I loved my power games. But something always felt off. It was like a splinter in my mind and I could not figure out what it was. Then, as with all great stories, the hero hits a wall. At 39, I hit mine. I had finally run out of options. And here on the edge, I realized there was nowhere else to look but within. So, I jumped. far more sh than holy. This journey wasn't at all what I thought it would be. It was relentless, both brutal and breathtaking. And being here on the other side, I was amazed to even be alive. The curious filmmaker in me wanted to know, are there others on this journey? And if so, what was their experience? Did their culture, tradition, gender, sexual orientation, age and beliefs have any influence and is there a red thread connecting all of our journeys through my own story the stories of others and the metaphor of film let's explore what it's like bringing our human selves beyond awakening <laughs>